Installing your Lytix DriveCam SF Series event recorder is simple and straightforward. First, install the device, then connect the cables, and finally activate the device. Lytix offers three different cables for vehicles that are 2008 or newer. J1939 pin, J1939 16 pin, and RP1226. Lytix will supply the cable needed for your vehicle based on the vehicle information you provide when ordering. This video focuses on the J1939 9-pin installation, but the process is similar when using the other cables. For a 9-pin cable installation, you will need the drive cam event recorder, 9-pin Y cable, power cable, can repeater, mounting bracket, alcohol wipes, 2 T27 screws, 1 T8 screw, the tamper prevention clip, and a Torx wrench. The J1939 16-pin cable follows the same installation method as the 9-pin. For 2023 or newer vehicles, there is an option to utilize an RP1226 port instead of a diagnostic port for 9-pin and 16-pin. For that, you will need an RP1226 cable, can repeater, and a power cable. Step 1. Install the device. First, use the Lytix supplied alcohol wipe to ensure the windshield is free of debris and oil. Secure the device to the bracket using the provided Torx wrench and T27 screws. Place the device on the windshield, ensuring it doesn't obstruct the driver's view, and ensure that the inside and outside camera lenses are not obstructed. Fix the bracket firmly to the windshield. Mount a vent recorder to the bracket. Step two, connect the correct cables. To install using a J1939 nine pin cable, first find the vehicle's diagnostics port and remove its nine pin cable. Take the vehicle's 9-pin cable and plug it into the green end of the J1939 9-pin cable that is provided by Lytix. While this video covers the J1939 9-pin installation, here are two other connections. If you are using the J1939 16-pin cable, find the J1939 16-pin port and connect it. If using the RP1226 cable, find the RP1226 port and connect. The remainder of this video will now be focused on the J1939 9-pin installation. Take the 6-pin connector and connect it to the CAN repeater. To add the CAN repeater, plug the power cable into the 7-pin socket of the CAN repeater. The other end of the power cable will plug into the event recorder. Take the black end of the cable and reinstall the port. Securely route the cable along the vehicle's A-pillar in the interior headliner. Secure the cable to the side of the device with the provided T8 screw and tamper prevention clip. Step 3. Activate the device. On your event recorder, there is a QR code that links to a site where you can register the installation of your drive cam. You can also visit lytics.com slash install. Log in with your credentials on the account login page. You can obtain your credentials from your Lytics project manager. Add the information about the vehicle and installation and validate the camera placement. Note, the serial number can be found on the small sticker on the side of the event recorder. After activating your device, if your LED light is green, you're ready to go. If not, please contact Lytics for further support. Your vehicle is now equipped with the Lytics DriveCam SF Series Event Recorder, enhancing safety and efficiency. For more information, visit lytics.com.